Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to do a quick recap on your exponential rules, that is, power to a power. The rule states that you keep the base and multiply the exponent. So for example, if I have a base that's x raised to a power, I call that power a, and then raised to another power b, the rule states that keep the base, multiply the exponent. So my answer will be my base, which is x, and then I multiply the exponent, a times b, which is x, a, b. A quick example, I have 1, if I have x raised to the power of 4, and then raised to another power of 3. The answer is, I keep the base, which is x, and then I multiply the exponent. The exponent in this case is your 4 and 3. And 4 times 3, that's 4 times 3, is 12. So my answer is x to the power of 12. Another example, if I have it as a quotient, that is x to the power of 2 divided by y to the power of 4. All raised to the power of 2. Going back to the rule, Keep the base and multiply the exponent. The exponent for the top is 2. My base is x. So multiplying the exponent, I have 2 times 2 at the top of my numerator and my denominator. I keep the base, which is y, and then I multiply my exponent. 4 times 2. My answer is x to the power of 2 times 2, 4, divided by y to the power of 4 times 2, 8. The next example, if I have another quotient, that's x to the power of 4 divided by y to the power of negative 3, all raised to the power of negative 3. The rule states that I keep the base and multiply the exponent. So for my numerator, I have my base as x. Then multiplying the exponent, I have 4 times negative 3 divided by y to the power of, I have that as negative 3, multiplying negative 3. That's equal to x to the power of minus 12, 4 times minus 3, divided by y to the power of minus 3 times minus 3, 9. However, I can leave my answer in negative exponent, and to change it to a positive exponent, I move it down to the denominator, so that will be equal to 1 over x to the power of 12, it becomes positive, y to the power of 9. The rule I applied is, if I have a to the power of minus x, that's a negative exponent, the minus will become the fraction bar, so I say 1 over a to the power of, then my exponents become positive. The last example, but not the least, if I have 5xy minus 1, all raised to the power of positive 2. The same thing, keep the base, multiply the exponent. Remember, when you don't have any exponential routine, there's an invisible exponent of 1 to all the variable or numbers with no exponent. So therefore, I have 5, that's the base, raised to, multiplying the exponents, 1 times 2, that's 2. Then I have x, the exponent is 1, the exponent outside, or the power outside is 2, 1 times 2 is 2. Then I have my y, minus 1 times 2, that's negative 2. That's equal to 5 squared is the same as 5 times 5, so I have that as 25, x to the power of 2, y to the power of negative 2. And to make it a positive exponent, I'm going to take my y minus 2 to the bottom, it becomes a denominator. So I have 25 to the power of x to the power of 2, taking my negative y minus 2, that's going to be positive 2. Thanks for watching. Bye.